Well, there are so many historical places across Jakarta, but we would need guides to help us full enjoy uh, them and of course particularly this trip Ramadan. Right Alia? Yes, that's right because there are so many hidden gems here in yeah. Jakarta. So right now we have with us Farid Mardianto, the co-founder of the Jakarta Good Guide, which is a community that invites us to explore Jakarta on foot. Very healthy just before iftar, right? So burn the energy. Hi, Hi. thank Hi. you for coming Hi. here. Thank you thank for you. having me. Yeah, did you walk on foot? No, <laughs> I don't know, but I think yeah. the bus. Not in the program. <laughs> no, not in the program, unfortunately. Okay, so can you tell us about this program, the Jakarta Walking tour uh, mm -hmm. before iftar during Ramadan? So we do walking tours like almost every day from Monday to Sunday and then during Ramadan we have more tours even in the afternoon. Like usually on regular days we have it probably just one tour every wow. afternoon but during Ramadan we have three tours. Every wow. Really? Yeah, oh. <laughs> different parts different of the city, on oh, different places, oh, right. Okay. We, 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 we call it like routes, like three different routes, okay. especially on weekends right. where people like to spend more time outside before probably they breakfasting together with their families or friends. So. Who are these people? I mean, are they youngsters? Are they family with kids? Who are they? Well, surprisingly, it's very diverse, even though, yeah, youngsters, like the age probably around the 20s and the 30s, but we do have families as well. like. Parents who bring their kids, or yeah, the kids who bring their parents mm. to walk. Oh, so vice versa, the kids who bring yeah, their parents. Yeah, that's oh. right. Yeah, that's true. Like even the parents can actually share the stories of, of, of one particular area of back in the days, like what it was like in yeah. the 50s or in the 60s, and then the youngsters can learn so much from them it's as well. It's quite educational as well, and this is you know out of the pandemic, so people can mm. actually go out and have Yeah, fun. and it's so outdoors, so yeah, it's safer. Right. So three times during Ramadan, so you have at least, uh, you need three teams? Yes, for you to... yeah, we do have a lot of teams, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. so three times, so uh, let's say in a month, in a day, um, how many people actually join the program? So actually, um, until today, we start like really uh, at the beginning of Ramadan, like it never stops. Yeah. Um, even after Lebaran, we never stop. Like, as for the number of people, we limit the one group. There are only like 15 people for one guide. So one guide can only cater 15 people right. for one group. Right. And um, so if there are more than 15, mm -hmm. then we would um, allocate more guides, like two guides or three guides. And usually some areas are very popular, like the Chinatown or the um, Menteng or the Chikini, the Pasar Baru, those are like the very popular areas. We have like even one, uh, sorry, yeah, even more than 15 people. Using. This is actually a very good idea because yeah. the, the best time to exercise during Ramadan is just before iftar, yeah. right? So it's burning calories. Um, I just wonder, I wonder though, does it include the package of iftar? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, does are, it include the food and all that? You're thinking for following the program and yeah. you don't want to bring any food. So. <laughs> Far away to the old cities of yeah, Jakarta, yeah, yeah. and you mentioned Chinatown before. Uh, before mm. we have on uh, live, where is it, and what kind of food do, would you find? Well, in the Chinatown, it's really, really interesting because you sometimes you can find food that are only in the Chinatown, which is in Glodok, which is in West Jakarta, yeah. close like, to the old what, town. Yeah, like, and this is during Ramadan. Is it halal? During Ramadan, it's uh, halal. Uh, yeah, there are. Fine. <laughs> well, <laughs> some 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 foods are are not halal, right. but some of, of course halal. There are some places there. There are some places that sell halal foods, mm -hmm. like mipan. Have you ever heard of mipan? No, no. Or chichong fun. Right. Uh, so or this, historical, yeah. This oh, very what, local. What is chichong fun? It's basically rice flour, and oh. then it's it's created like kwetiau, but like very very in a, in a wider uh, size. Wider than yes. Oh, right. And then it's mixed with. Um, Salted soy sauce, nice. and then they add. I'm drooling. They oh, I'm add <laughs> like chilies to make it like fresh, and and. And stop right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're we're still like a long way to go. I so know. The name is Cho Ching Fan. Chi Chong Fan. Chi Chong Fan. Yes. Okay. Good one. Good one. Good yeah. One. Okay. So it doesn't include the iftar. No, but we we like when people register, mm. uh, we tell them that um, there are places, well not in all the routes that there are places that they can uh, find Fine. food, um, but like for Chinatown or Pasar Baru or Chikini, Jatinegara, those areas, we encourage people to bring cash mm -hmm. or be prepared to to spend your 
money for on food because yeah, there will be some stalls that you wouldn't find in any other place. So what time does it start and what time does it finish, these tours? Yeah. So during Ramadan, we start at 2.30 in mm -hmm. the afternoon. Like in the morning, we also have tours that start at 8, that finishes at 10. And then in the afternoon, we start at 2.30, finishes around 4.30 up to 5 p.m. actually. So they have ah, time to find, to find food, food place or mosque if they want to. Oh, Take a prayer. Yeah. But you start uh, at 2.30. It's quite still early in the afternoon. True, that's true. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because so how do they manage? I mean, today's weather is it's quite 40 hot. 40 degrees. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's actually yeah. one of the obstacles here with the sun. But people actually... Enjoy it? Yeah, enjoying it at 2.30. Walking on foot and Walking. look aside like... A lot of stories, the, 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 the historical things that yes. uh, they yes. had never been uh, known before. Yeah. Yes, I, I always think that we sometimes we, we kind of like um, underrate these people mm. that Jakarta's don't like walking. But when we have tours, people actually do want to walk in this city. Well, uh, I've been living in Jakarta for all my life, but there are still places that I haven't explored yet. Yeah. And maybe people know good places in Jakarta, but the hidden gems I mentioned are not being explored yet. So do you have any recommendations of uh, very significant places that have, you know, cultural values mm. or historical values that people need to know? That one of my favorites is actually Chilinching. I know oh. this sounds like very odd, like what is it's so Chilinching? far away, like from yeah. here to go there, it takes around two hours, but it is still in Jakarta, it's in North Jakarta, but there is still this um, fisherman village mm. ah. um, and then you would find a very old mosque close by to a Marunda? temple. No, different. Close it's, it's close to Marunda, oh, yes, yes, it's close to Marunda. And then you would find a temple and then you will find a crematorium mm -hmm. and then also like a pagoda mm -hmm. right. where people store ashes. Mm -hmm. So from that one region, you would find that the people are actually the tolerance story. Yeah. Right, yeah. And and very diverse. And and if you look at the history, Chilinching was actually the area where Sipitung. No? <laughs> yeah, that's true actually. Yeah? Yes. And okay. also where yes. the Dutch spent mm. their days on the beach. Ah, oh, and you to like a, 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 like a Dutch. premium places uh, yeah, of the beach. Yeah, unfortunately yeah, now the beach doesn't exist anymore because <laughs> of the high uh, the, the high water. But right. but yeah, looking back at the history, it was where people the mm. Europeans visited. Actually, and there's this. still history. Please talk more about the mosque. How old is the mosque? And maybe you can share a bit. Of story. Yeah, that mosque. It's actually a very small mosque, but it's not like with a dome like and a big uh, minaret mosque. It's right. it's. It even, there is a folklore that says that Fatahila made a stop there. So this was back in the 16th century, so 1500s, before um, attacking the Jayakarta at that time. Right. So it goes all the way back to 16th century. Right. And it's, again, it's a very modest small mosque near the sea, so you can actually wow. looking at the sea. Well, not like, like, ocean view but yeah. still you would find the Different wooden boats yeah? yeah the atmosphere is actually Walks by the bay really nice. without bay watch I'm yeah <laughs> so watch. what's the food accommodation there if food you go to the seafood of seafood, course yeah. seafood. the seafood is still fresh because a lot of the uh, a lot of the restaurants or the warungs they actually buy the seafood from the fishermen mm. wow. you would still see find you you would still even find um women or the workers that are cleaning the clams mm. and then seas right. and then making salted fish. Yeah. It's really, really this is good. This is the problem of Jakarta people. We always say that we never get fresh seafood because right. whatever that comes to our table is, you know, after a lot of journey, a long journey, finally it comes to the table. So it's not as fresh as when you have it there, right yeah. at the uh, beach. So Very you can cool. actually uh, find some, uh, found some new and fresh seafood there. Yes. Eh? Interesting. So, talking about your uh, tour guide, yeah, what information can participants get by joining Jakarta Walking Tour? Only the historical site and recommendation food or any other you things that maybe we, we haven't found it yet yeah. before? Well, well m most of the things that we share, the stories are actually the history or the culture or sometimes the fun facts or the trivias ah. about the areas or even about a person uh, from the area. Like, for example, in Menteng area, it's like a you know, 
historical area as well, but then there used to be a lot of important figures that lived there in Mentengs. And there were houses that still exist. And, and sometimes we know the national figures, like mm. the national heroes, but we don't know where they actually live. Yeah. Like, where is the, the first vice president live? We actually pass by his house and then also... Mm. Bung Hatta house, story. yeah? Bung Hatta's house. Oh, wow. and, and it is still owned by the family. So, so yeah. that kind of things. And sometimes people are like, oh, he actually lives here during the the Declaration of Independence. Yes, he did. And also probably Ahmad Subarjo's house mm -hmm. is still in Chikini. Uh, he was a very prominent figure yeah. again in our independence. And also a lot of like Muhammad Yamin's house is still there. And yeah, a lot of important people's house. And also the trivias and culture. And sometimes we also have like foreigners, like visitors from other countries. Mm -hmm. And then we also tell the culture mm -hmm. of Indonesia, like going to wet market, mm -hmm. typical dishes. And then they, they always seem to be so surprised and amazed of how diverse we are, yeah. but we can actually live together. Like yeah. in so this I suppose season. it's conducted in both English and Indonesian, or maybe yeah. in other languages. We do have tours in English, mm -hmm. but now, yeah, because of COVID, so mm -hmm. now more participants are actually Indonesian, so right. there are more tours in English. My children okay. should follow this program after yeah, in our We system. should too. Yeah, yeah, we should too. <laughs> Because we want the inside information right. of what you just mentioned before. We will continue of other recommendations, especially in the hidden gem of Jakarta, but don't go anywhere because that's going to happen after the break with Farid, who is still here with us. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned.